Hello and welcome back to Lana. My name is Beast and today we're back with, uh, Ayak Uh, last time I almost had a heart attack because of fucking power outage again. So that's always nice. Uh, today we're gonna be moving on to, uh, with the Yui route. Since today I shouldn't have to worry about a power outage. Nothing much else to say besides just let's go on. Let's get going. Uh, homework just ended and classes are now done for the day. As soon as the bell rang, Yabuki came over to my seat. <laughs> what? Why? Sensei I get the feeling she just wants me out of her hair. And yes, I have like a bunch of these small bottles because they apparently didn't have any big bottles. And I want to save the actual beer for, you know... Celebrate the start of uh, what looks for now to be Quasarnats probably, so yeah. Anyways. Alright, fine, I'll go home. Hmm. Alba. It's not often that she messages, messages me at school. Seriously. I guess I'd better do as she says and quick because before Koska becomes the target of everyone's teasing. I message Alba back, telling her to meet me in front of the school gates, and promptly leave the classroom. Ah. Alba! Ooh. I'm going to fucking power bomb you into the pavement. When I arrive at the gate, I find Alba with a smug grin on her face, and Koska looking rather exasperated. Just from that expression, Alba's already been giving her all sorts of grief. I never thought my own sister would join in on the teasing. You sure don't look shocked? So, That's you dying. Okay, I get it. You can stop. I just had to ask, didn't I? That's what I was thinking. Yamabuki told me not to show up at the student council today, anyways. Yamabuki put some preparation into this. Alright. I'm grateful to show Yamabuki for being so considerate, but this almost feels like a bit much. Even though Yamaba is with us, I can feel countless stares and you hear them all whispering too. Then again, I can probably blame that on Alba's weird screaming from a second ago. Still, it doesn't seem like a good idea to head home soon. So, it does seem like a good idea to head home soon. <coughs> Things go silent at once after Alba departs. Ah, it's finally just the two of us. The moment we're alone, the nerves hit me, and the conversation comes to a halt. Koska seems to be fairly nervous as well, which means it's up to me to take charge. Come Koska, I'll walk you home. Sure, no need to be modest. I want to spend as much time with you as I can. She probably wouldn't be very amused, especially not if she heard us talking about her like that, like this. After leaving the campus, we make our way into town, strolling along the coastal roads. 
Simply walking together with her like this is enough to get my heart racing out of control. I'm sure the photography club was just trying to liven things up for us. Still, I suppose they did go a little overboard. むしろあれくらいやったからでしょうか。皆さん遠慮して声をかけてきませんし、おかげでその、もう付き合ってるのは周知の事実ですし、で、手を握ってもよろしくて。Yeah, of course. Timidly reach out to grab her hand as she gently squeezes back. Unable to stay calm, my pulse suddenly quickens significantly. Do you, um, have some kind of special skincare routine, Koska? Your hands are super soft. Are they? I think they're pretty average sized. This place is her palm flat against mine, comparing our sizes. The sensation of her skin against mine causes my heart to skip another beat. Koska's face has reddened slightly as well, unlike this morning. And unlike this morning, it's now much easier to see her embarrassment. Hajime-san? I by you using my first name, but it's somewhat strange that she'd want to continue attaching an honorific to it. Sure, and... In that case, I'll call you... Yui. はい、お願いします。ただ、私から言っておいてなんですが、今日いきなり呼ばれると発想が。照れて、何も言えなくなりそうなので。Oh, that went down the wrong pipe. Mm. Yui. Yeah. Sorry, it just sort of slipped out. She blushes, glaring reproachfully at me. I hadn't been meaning to tease her, but it looks like she's actually feeling more embarrassed than I thought. Wouldn't say I enjoy it, I just wanted to see it a little. Please don't bring that up again! <laughs> She giggles shyly, uh, eliciting a chuckle out of me as well. It's amazing how happy it, I feel simply holding hands with her and talking like this. It funny sinks in that she's my girlfriend now. Looks like we're here, Jesus Christ. We've been having so much fun together that time. Um, we've been having so much fun together that time pa seemed to pass in a blink of an eye. Before I'd even noticed, the two of us had walked all the way to Yui's house. Speaking of, that's the first time I've ever been here. Is this match not like a little big? Once again, I'm forced to realize the wealth and prestige that comes from. Is the little? Once again, I'm forced to realize the wealth and prestige that she comes from. Dropping that particular train of thought, she gives my hand a tight squeeze. Although it's time for us to part ways, I want to keep holding on to her, too. As that, as that thought crosses my mind, I find myself unable to let go of her hand. <laughs> so, um... Whenever we go home together like this from now on, do, do you think I could walk you home like I did today? It's a relief. Yes, I'll have an excuse to spend a bit more time with her every day. Since we go to different schools, we won't have as much chances to see each other as we'd like. So the more opportunities like this, the better. I'll try to contact you whenever I, I know what time I'll be finished with my student council stuff. On days that our schedules match up, we should well walk home together. <laughs> 
Right, see you tomorrow then. I'll message you when I get back. You're more than welcome to, but it's quite a detour, isn't it? Well, then I guess it's okay. I'll probably leave the dorm around the same time as I did today. Alright, see you tomorrow. That stupid thing here. I don't want to take that. Oh no, of course not. I'd love to hear your voice from time to time too, so I'll try to call you when I can. I'll shoot your message whenever I'm free to talk. I won't. See you tomorrow. Yui waves me again and again until she reaches her doorstep. Waves to me again and again until she reaches her doorstep and heads inside. When she smiles, is adorable. As is the way she waves her arm. I'm truly really glad I walked her home today. After watching her disappear indoors, I turn and make my own way home. Thinking about her all the way. <clears throat> yes. Ne, ne, hora. Kaichou to issho ni iru ko. Ah, Kozuka san? Masaka ano Ayaka ga furareru nante ne? So lya atashi mo bikkuri shita kedo sa. Nanka futari narande temo sama ni natte ru tteyu ka. わかる。なんか大人っぽいし、むしろ綾香の敗因はそこだったんじゃ。お、ダブル会長だ。今日も一緒に投稿してきたらしいじゃん。羨ましいな。俺も彼女作って一緒にイチャイチャしてよ。小
<laughs> I'm kidding. I'll be sure to keep an eye out for everything I find cute about you from now on, so cheer up. She spins away from me, then rubs her cheeks with her palms. Apparently the goody expression on her face wasn't the one she meant to show me. Are you plotting some kind of payback? I'm not sure that's how normal couples' conversations usually go, but... But Kozuka seems to be enjoying our, our exchange nonetheless. Well, alright. Then let's hurry up and finish eating so we have more time to spend together. So, shut-te-i-ta-da-ke-ru-no-wa-re-shi-no-desu-wa-shikari-kan-de-tabe-no-i-to-no-do-ni-tsumara-se-ta-ri-shimasu-shi-futari-masu-wa-yo-i-ma-
Today, however, we seem to be the only ones around. But since everyone knows about the spot, I doubt we'd be getting more attention, even if there were others here. It's a lot more relaxing than the cafeteria, that's for sure. <laughs> Seriously. Still, we gotta find some place where we won't be disturbed, otherwise we're not gonna we're not gonna get a moment's peace. Either that, or hope that nobody loses- that everybody loses interest in us soon. ですが、私たちが付き合ったことで早速影響があったみたいですわ。私の女の子が告白されたとか、告白したいけれどどうしたらいいのかなどとアドバイスを求められましたし、先輩の周りではそういった変化はありませんか? Not quite. Not that I've noticed. Maybe I just haven't been paying attention though. That was that one guy over here talking about how he'd been rejected the day Yui came to walk with me to school, but surely there must have been other students who've had a bit more success. On a different note, do you think you'll be staying long after school today? Hold on, I didn't say that yet. No, you are not. It's a strange feeling being led around by a girl younger than me, but not altogether unpleasant. In fact, I found myself growing more and more attracted to her in Congress maturity. Great, then I'll walk you home today again. I should be done around the same time. I'll come over to I I'll come over there to get you, so you don't have to come here. Are you sure? I know it's a bit nerve wracking coming here with all these older students around. It'd take, it'd take longer to get home this way, too. Plus, it should be the gentleman's job to escort the lady home. I'll give Yui a th theatrical bow and offer her my hand. <laughs> she graciously accepts my hand, giving me an elegant smile in return. Might be laying it on a bit. Thick, to be honest, but this sort of straightforward approach seems to work best when it comes to Yui. Since I'm to be your escort, though, it'd be a bit boring to just head straight home. But what? Don't worry, I always do my studying in the evening anyways. Besides, I'd go anywhere if it meant I could come see you. Even if you asked me to come to your room. <laughs> In fact, if you're up for it, why don't I go pay a visit to your room today? Why, I thought for sure she'd say no right away. Still holding my hand, she pulls me in close and whispers into my ear. Huh? Oh my. Oh my, oh my. Oh my, oh my, oh my. Whoops, I accidentally knocked over. My co- my co-host! No! <laughs> uh, I mean, there is technically something I could do, just... <laughs> yeah, this is not going well. Oh, I actually landed. Wow. Just not where you are supposed to be. What? What did you just say? <laughs> Apparently finding something extremely funny, she bursts into laughter, having to hold her stomach with both hands. Huh? What? What just happened? What? Hey, you said you weren't going to! I totally fell for it! Still feels as though the, the Kirby is still standing there. <sighs> Looks like we're pretty well suited to one another, huh? 
っしゃっていただけるなんて大変光栄ですわ。I'm a little peeved that you managed to pull one over on me. But I'm not childish enough to keep the cycle of payback going. Well, if we're, going, we're doing this, we'd better get some condoms ready. We can stop by a convenience store on the way home and buy some. I'm serious about you, Yui. Can't you see that? <laughs> From anyone else's perspective, we probably just seem like your average pair of lovebirds. But even so, these silly conversations make me happy. Wait, doesn't does that mean? <laughs> oh shit, does that mean she's actually okay with more? Just not today? We didn't expect this at all. Didn't even know what I don't even know what to say. Koshka! I know, but I never expected you to be so receptive to it. She lapses into an embarrass uh, she lapses into an embarrassed silence, making things all the more awkward. It, it's not particularly uncomfortable, but still, I should change the subject for now. Speaking of which, uh, do you like a good workout, Koska? No! Oh my! Oh, I, I didn't admit that. I didn't notice the expression. I guess I took my joke a little too far. Sorry, just forget everything I said earlier, okay? I'm sure it must be hard to get it off her mind, but it's clear we won't be able to hold a normal conversation at this rate. I wish I could say the same, I'm not fit at all. You know, the motherfucker can fuck, can like reach a, two, a second story fucking window though. Like you don't get to say you're not fit, but you can parkour your way up to this, to like fucking second story window. I might not be able to do something about it if I act I might be able to do something about it if I exercised more, but I'm just fundamentally not very athletic. That's apparently something like my overall body type would actually be very easy to keep fit, but I just don't do jack shit, so Yeah the f <laughs> that's where the fat comes from. If you had me play badminton right now, I'd probably end up covered from head to toe with racket marks. I'd like to know the answer to that myself. Well, that's great, but I'd probably be fearing for my life right now if you said you were an outdoorsy type. Technically, yes. Technically, I guess. Naturally, all uh, you need is a fire, so it could be done in the kitchen if, uh, if you really wanted to. Uh, Yamabuki would probably kick his ass! Well, my room would probably end up a giant mess for one. I'd undoubtedly set off the fire alarm too, and my room would stink of smoke for weeks. I purposely restrained from telling her at the time I tried smoking on the balcony, leading to a small fire scare in the dorm. She'd mostly, most likely shake her head at my stupidity. Yes. How the heck did that happen? If you're interested, maybe you can come by and watch me cook next time. Well, then again, there's not much to actually watch. My smoker does most of the work. 
somewhat, but you'll like it once you get used to it. Personally, from what I hear, the smell is more like whiskey than anything else. But the smell can also vary a lot depending on the what wood chips you use. Sounds like pretty. Sounds like a pretty adult hobby, doesn't it? Yeah, you'll be able to tell which ones you like and which ones you don't pretty clearly once you actually try it. If you want my opinion, I get the feeling you'd probably like the cherry blossom wood chips a lot, Yui. Oh, but the smell can seep into your clothes, so be careful. At worst, it might not even wash out. But as long as I'm with you, uh, that shouldn't be a problem. <gasps> Oh, sorry, I didn't mean to ramble on like that. I just get enthusiastic. I just get enthusiastic about my foods. Yuri stares at me, her mouth slightly agape. Seeing her expression, I realized that I'd gone off on a complete tangent. <laughs> tangent is a line that was tangent a line that meets a curve in only one point. Or was it one that doesn't meet anywhere? I forget right now. It's been a long time since the last had maths. Oh well, I can always look it up. Tangent is only in ex exactly one point. Mm. Intriguing. Okay, makes sense. Anyways. <laughs> Are you sure? I could seriously go on for another hour. I'm not joking. Even better, I can make it three hours in that case. <laughs> like I'm just mad, just deranged, it's just completely deranged expression. Uh, three hours it is. <laughs> this would be a perfect opportunity for my outdoor debut. For my outdoor debut, and having a summer barbecue with my girlfriend doesn't sound that bad either. Yeah. Oh yeah, I forgot that. I still have. Like three of these. I'm stupid! <laughs> oh no, I knocked all of them over! No! <laughs> Fuck! Shit! Yeah, who cares? <laughs> Oh, that's great. I'll have to bring you a plate next time I whip up something good then. Hmm? Did I say something weird? Yes, yeah, it's kind of embarrassing to hear you say that. Well, that can, can't bode well. I've never seen Aoba, the very picture of energy, in such low spirits before. What's the matter? You look as pale as a frog. Wow, I really predicted that, didn't I? 
Rip it. Al, <laughs> stop hitting me! It's me! I almost forgot how much Alba hates frogs. If they're using them for science class, they're definitely going to be dissecting them today. I hear that a lot of schools are taking dissections out of their curriculum these days, including Misakiyama as well. Which is why our president and science, ma pres resident mad scientist, our school's biology teacher, invites Misakiyama students for a special lecture once a year. Right, fine. Where are these frogs? You get. Let's get this over with quickly. <laughs> Sorry about this, Yui. I know where we're supposed to be spending our lunch together. いいえ。うちのクラスのことですし、先輩はどうぞお気になさらず。それより先輩、ここは私に任せていただけませんか? Huh? I can do it really. I've dissected frogs before, so I'm used to it. And most girls are pretty squeamish about this sort of thing, aren't they? あれ解剖するの?絶対無理。青葉、先週の授業きちんと聞いてまして。聞いてたけど無理。いい夫は見たことないからそんなこと言えるんだ。見たことない。あれは私が小さい頃雨上がりの道路足の踏み場もないほど潰れて内臓が飛び出した。雨が帰る立ち。したり。ああ。このおばか。おやめなさい。<
And actually, now that I get a good look at them, these little guys aren't much different than the chihuahuas you see at the pet store. Get oh my god, what the fuck? <laughs> Never mind! The 100 percent frogs! However, this is the perfect chance to show Yui what her boyfriend's made of. Besides, if these frogs started jumping around again while you were carrying the tank, you might end up dropping it. If that happened, they'd be unleashed upon the entire school. So, that's... Thanks. How about you keep their distance? Walking direct, uh, dire directly behind me as uh, they cling to each other. Praying that this whole ordeal hasn't traumatized them too much, I make my way to the biology lab. Sorry for the intrusion. It's fine, I know girls have a hard time with these kinds of things. Even after parting ways with our amphibious friends, Alba's face remained as white as a sheet. I've actually had dissection before in school, but however, we did not just dissect a whole ass frog. We dissected, I think it was like a bull's eye. Like just the eye, just just on the tray, just staring at, staring into our soul. So yeah, we had to dissect that. Eyes are I have surprisingly a lot of resistance to them. Anyway, actually I think it was pig's eyes. I don't know. I don't remember some kind of animal eyes. Hopefully they weren't human eyes. Huh. Anyways, let's forget about that. Not at all fucking horrifying image. Let's just move on. Don't worry, it's not your fault. <coughs> now, if anything, it should have been Alba's responsibility. She's the one to teach your ass. Alright, enough pointing fingers. Seeing all these frogs crammed together like that would have been hard for anyone, especially for someone who hates them as much as you do. Please don't. Well, then again, you're going to be seeing a lot more of them in about 20 minutes anyway. You know I'm the student council president, right? I've got a lot of nerve saying that to my face. You shouldn't push yourself too hard either, Yui. Don't feel like you need to put up a strong front just for me. You'll only embarrass yourself if it, end up, end up, if it ends up backfiring. I guess because I'd be doing the same thing if I were in your shoes. Yeah, guys always try to act cool in front of their girlfriends. Or in girls' cases, they guess they try to act cute. Still, even though there might be signs of you yourself you don't want me to see, the more we hide from each other, the easier it is to lead to a disagreement and the lied. I'm going to beat you over the head with a frog. She asked for my relationship history, not that. Not everything. For one thing, you're way cuter when you're embarrassed than I ever thought you could be. It stings to admit, but I can't say you're wrong. I didn't want to know about that. I'm begging you. Oh, but please try and show a little more modesty. And Yui, don't hesitate to scold her when she says weird stuff like this. She could use the discipline. 
承知しましたわ。Try not to look a try to look a little more put off, will ya? そういえばお兄、さっきからユイって呼んでるけど、前まで名字で呼んでたよね。Well, we're dating now, nothing wrong with me using your first name. Ah, you are an enormous senpai no mama no ni? How about? Sonotenny anonymous and with you? But I see no by senpai on a my day will be soon. She's too used to you at this point. Sorry, but Yui's best face is reserved for my eyes only. Ah, senpai, it's all right, isn't it? Uwa, kono kuso baka punagori te. Yeah, I, I can understand that emotion. I can understand that feeling, Alba. You should do a lot of croaking for someone who has fake frogs. Yiksha, uni wa watashi no uni na da kara na. That odd choice of fighting words, Alba runs off. もしかして青葉、私にハジメさんを取られたと。ああ、That might be it. だとすれば、yeah. いいえ、いつかは青葉が妹になるというのも楽しそうだなと。Who's older, you or Alba? Ah,、uh, you? Taking things a bit fast, you're on with. <laughs> はじめさんの垂れた顔もいただきましたので、私もそろそろ失礼しますわね。Oh, right. Huh? Once again, I get the feeling that Yuri has been toying with me. Even though she's still so irresistibly cute. Maybe I was right, I was right and we really are a pair of lovebirds. <laughs> Ignore that. Ignore that. Azno Tenki Desna, hey, I have a call with Yui coming up here. Coming up here in a bit, and without much else to do, I'm waiting in the lounge area watching the weather forecast on the big TV. I've already eaten, taken my, taken my bath, so the only thing I have left for the day is to this call with her. I wonder why she wants to talk. She did say she had something she wanted to tell me. Maybe it's something too hard or embarrassing for her to say in person. Ah! Hello? Even though we've talked on the phone a number of times already, these little things always serve to highlight the manner of her upbringing. Yeah, it's me. Actually, you have my number in your contacts, don't you? You don't need to confirm it's me or anything. Why not try something like "Good evening"? This is your one and only girlfriend, Kosuke Yui, calling. <laughs> Just from her voice, I can vividly picture the frown that's probably on her face right now. It's so nice. Yeah, I'm just relaxing in the lounge at the moment. <laughs> My ma mom nags me like that these days. I almost said ma'am instead of mom. That was weird. That soft whisper of hers really hit me in the heart. But, well, I guess that wouldn't be so bad. Hush. <laughs> I'll probably just be a nuisance to the other people in the lounge if I continue talking to her here. So I go back to my room. <laughs> yeah, I went back to my room. My excitement must have caused me to raise my voice a little without realizing it. I was getting a little it was getting a little hard to bear all the people grinning at me. I was getting kinda of embarrassed having everyone hear me talking to you. After walking over to my desk, I sit in my chair and lean back comfortably. That was a 
squeaky ass chair. So, you said you had something you wanted to talk about? Some she needs to prepare herself to ask me. Is something hard to break bring up? It isn't often I see the her this nervous over something. Today's Thursday, so two days from now? Yeah, I'm not doing anything as far as I know. Well, yeah, I've got no reason to lie to you do now, do I? I know why she was acting the way she was a second ago. Given how confident she usually is, I'd never expect her to get this nervous about asking me out on a date. <laughs> I don't believe that's more than just a date! I have three thing things to look up. My look at the camera, my second monitor, and my first monitor. I can usually look over to the mo to my like the section on OBS that's displaying my face whenever I like basically talk to the audience, but I really gotta like finally get in the habit of looking at the camera then. Hello. And yes, I know that I need to cut my fi fingernails. I, I keep forgetting. They, they grow like fucking weeds. At least I can close my eyes out now. Now? <laughs> Anyways, uh... Sure, I'd love to. Wait, did you just say we'd be all, all alone? Huh? Oh, oh yeah, that that's that that uh, I would be too. Wait, no, back up. We're skipping like so many steps here. Sure, there's a date, but there's uh, a bit more nuance to what she's saying here. <laughs> Oh no, calm down, Ajime! Just going over to her house to hang out, that's all! We're not actually going to- But she has to understand the implication of me coming to over to her house when her parents are gone. There's no doubt. I keep telling myself to be a gentleman about this, but all that, all that that does is make it impossible for me to stop thinking about taking her to bed. Uh, uh... Being alone with you in your house is going to be pretty nerve-wracking for me. <laughs> I can hear the nerves in her tone of voice. A sad voice is making it hard for me to refuse. I don't mind it. If you want me to come over, I'd be glad to. How come you're asking me that? I thought you were the one who wanted me to. Uh, I thought you were the one who wanted me to come. <laughs> I could feel the tension leaving the both of us. You yourself probably realizes what was on my mind and understands that it's only natural. Sure, that works. I'll eat lunch over here and then try to be over at your place at around one. Great, alright, uh, I'll talk to you later then. <laughs> that was the wrong button. Um, are you gonna hang up? <laughs> oh boy. What a typical thing to happen when you're on the phone with your girlfriend. At the thought I found my lips naturally curving into a f curving to form a smile. <laughs> Already? It's about tennis. She's about to take a bath. Just at the mere mention of the word bath, my body immediately starts imagining Yui's naked. My mind immediately st starts imagining Yui's naked body. 
Of course, I haven't actually seen her naked yet, so it's a bit of a fuzzy image. That fuck! Funny, my imagination was better. <laughs> All right then, I guess you have to go. That's that. I guess if you have to go, that's that. <laughs> well, it's all fine. We'll see each other tomorrow. So go up in that bed. <laughs> what the hell? She's psychic. Well, I better get ready for tomorrow then, and uh, I better get ready for tomorrow then head to, uh, on to bed as well. <laughs> Wait, so I'm still allowed to fantasize about you? Alright, I'll try to keep it in moderation. Good night, Yui. Placing my phone on my desk, I go over to my bed. She actually seems to be ha handling the topic of sex the best out of everyone. At this point, I think. Anyways, this isn't the first time I've had this thought, but talking to Yui has a strange relaxing effect on me. Despite being younger than me, she's mature and witty, and that mismatched combination is part of what makes her so attractive. And she still has a child's, a childish side on top of that. It almost feels unfair. <laughs> That's why I keep falling for her more each passing day. I have to think about how I need to become more responsible for myself. As, as I think about how I need to become more responsible myself, I doze off and eventually fall asleep. Ah! I don't look weird. I don't look weird, do I? I pull up my phone one last time to make sure I don't have a bedhead. Perfect, I'm all good to go. If I message Yui, then I'm here now. So, now I just have to wait for her to come out and welcome me in. I'm definitely still nervous about her parents not being here. Still, just because we have the house to ourselves doesn't necessarily mean anything appropriate is going to happen. Right? Besides, we're both actively conscious of the fact that we'll be alone. No use in letting my fantasies go wild. Hello, Yui. Once again, uh, thank you very much for giving me the privilege to visit your marvelous home today. <laughs> no one, really. I just kind of feel like I have to be respectful. Uh, um, one second. Oh, sorry, I just kind of feel a little guilty about coming over without your parents knowing. They haven't even met me yet, so I don't know. I feel like I should at least introduce myself to them before entering their home. Why not do this some other time when your parents are here so we, they can meet me? They're still here. She sticks out her tongue, smiling playfully. Inform me about what? What? Really? What they say about it? There are a lot of ways that last part can be interpreted. Right. Can he see my phone blinking because of a notification at a corner of my eye and starting to piss me the fuck off? Damn. This place is nice! Of course, I knew it to a certain degree from the exterior of the place, but I didn't quite expect the inside to look this luxurious. <laughs> that couch looks super fucking comfy. 
However, I can imagine myself trying to sit down here and lean back and immediately fall the fuck off. Especially there. <sighs> Every single thing in sight looks incredibly expensive. I've only ever had the stuff you get at convenience stores, but I'll be alright. What? You kidding? Man, she got me good. No, she's right. I did help ease my nerves. I don't want to be alone. Yui walks off, leaving me all alone in the living room. It wasn't visible from the front of the house, but there's a spacious backyard that I can see through the large glass panes and even a balcony. Imagine living here. Here all by yourself. Nighttime would be awful. Once the lights go out, this entire place would be pitch black. Imagine if Alba ever came here for a sleepover, she'd be too scared to step with one foot out of the room she was sleeping at sleeping in. <laughs> that reminds me of this one time. Like I was deathly afraid of dogs as a kid. Especially big ones. Like, small ones, I felt uncomfortable around, but big ones, like, the ones where everyone says, like, oh my god, they're the best boys. Like, I was fucking deathly afraid of those. And a friend of mine had one of those. And he was nice. He was, however, he did get a bit too energetic every now and again. Like, he literally, re uh, like, went up to my, uh, up to my chest. Like, if he, if he like, jumped me. Like, only to, like, lean on it, on me. Uh, so, yeah, that was a tall dog. And one day, I was, like, sleeping over at his pla at this friend's place. And because of reasons, their upstairs bathroom was locked. Because there was a bunch of stuff placed in front of it that I couldn't move. And it was in the middle of the night. And I desperately had to use the bathroom. But here's the thing. The dog... Slept right next to the stairs downstairs. So I, of course, did not want to go down there. So I held in for like three fucking hours. So I, like, I was hella stressed. And still my friend woke up from me stressing about this. Just looked over like, what's fucking wrong? And I was just like, I really need to piss at the dogs in the way. It was very awkward. I get. Well, how old was I? I was like, it was like back in grade, uh, grade school, elementary school. I mean, the reason why I was scared of dogs, by the way, is because back in uh, kindergarten, I had a friend with a big dog, and I was not scared of that uh, of dogs back then. I actually really liked that that dog. I actually got along very well with it. But one day when I was visiting, I literally arrived, and the dog just fucking body checked me to the fucking ground. I hit my head on the pavement, and he started just licking me square across the fucking face. Ever since that point, I I've been afraid of dogs. Like, I was deathly afraid of them back then. There's still a bit of fear left. However, it is not really that noticeable. I still fucking hate, like, aggressive dogs that just start barking immediately. Oh, thanks. She hands me an antique looking cup and I instantly smell the wonderful fragrance of black tea. Even I can tell this some high class tea. I think. I'm to drink this tea like all the fancy people do, saucer in one hand and pinky finger up. Uh, so Yui goes to the other side of the coffee table and sits across from me. Has Alba ever been over here? I know you two are really good friends. <laughs> Seriously? That's kind of a surprise. Yeah,家が家ですし、昔友達を誘った時なんて、萎縮されてしまったくらいですから、放課後に寄り道することはあっても家に呼んだり、相手のお家にお邪魔することは滅多にありません。Ah, I can see some parents being too intimidated by a house like this to let their kids go over to play. Even if the kids had no problem with it, I could see the parents telling them no. That probably happened with some of her friends when she was younger. Alba, for example, probably wouldn't care, but then again, 
her not being mindful of the fact that she is in a very expensive house could become a problem in and of itself. <sighs> Topic got a little serious and now I don't know what to say. It probably isn't my place to com comment on this. It's a place of use past, uh, part of use past, and she's probably already come to terms with it by now. Come on, I can't I think of anything else to talk about. I just want to have a casual conversation or something. Uh, uh, no. y yes! Uh, uh, be my guest! Man, I didn't know what she was about to say. She sits next to me and scoots over close enough so that our shoulders are touching. Just that alone causes my heart to go beat. I look over and that's just... That she's blushing too. I doubt she expected to get this embarrassed by doing this. This has to be very awkward. <laughs> Samir. Well, this is gonna be a bit of an awkward question, but am I the only one who wants to cuddle a little more? Mm, she proceeds, proceeds to lean her head on my shoulder, causing me, my, me to nearly lose my mind. All we've done, uh, as far as intimacy goes, is hold hands. So something like this has the potential to be deadly. Do we? <laughs> I put my arms on her shoulders and draw her into a tight embrace. Both her warmth and her so the softness of her body stir my arousal. But it's hard to focus on that, since seeing her face so close to mine causes my heart to beat like a runaway train. Uh, uh, so, if you're okay with it, can we kiss? That's <laughs> I'll keep that in mind. We gaze into each other's eyes, then bring our lips together. The first kiss tasted like black tea. Her lips well, are so soft that they feel so good. Her mind's going blank. I don't, even meant it, I don't even meant to do a short, quick kiss, but I just don't want to stop. Same here! Whoever knew that kissing felt as good. Shit, I'm so overly conscious of, overly conscious of her now that I can't even look her in the face. As so much as I would love to go in for another kiss, I probably will lose my mind. You're wrong! Wait, Yui! I don't know if she's trying to provide a distraction from the embarrassment, or whether that kiss really did get her in the mood. But either way, she takes my hand and quickly leads me to her room. I mean, she's taking me to her room. It could only mean one thing. Right? I see it better. Yoko-so. Oh, so this is your room. Oh, so that's what this was about. Seems the reason for bringing me here wasn't exactly what I thought it was. Something smells really good, though. The bed has a canopy? That's pretty cool. Yeah, well, it's my first time actually seeing one. Though honestly, I'm not surprised to see one in your room. The work desk? Oh, is that an electric screwdriver? I see a heat gun and a glue gun on the desk as well. Along with what looks like an extraction manual of some sort. I don't know why, but looking at it gets me all excited. Maybe she's building something? Aren't you in the invention club at school, Yui? 
発明部と違い趣味と申しますか Some tells me at least one sex scene is gonna be her making a toy. 先輩は女の子がこういった趣味を持つのはおかしいと思いますか She seems genuinely worried. And Bridget deliberately brought up the subject because she wanted to know my opinion on it. Well, I'd better reassure her. Nah, I actually think it's pretty cool. And personally, I really respect someone who can build things. So, so this guy. What kind of stuff do you build if you don't mind me asking? So, this is the first time I've ever seen a tool that I've ever seen in the communication of the tool that I've ever seen in the world. So, what you program the fucking AI, install the speaker and a mic microphone into a teddy bear so it can converse with you? Are you an actual genius? I'm a genius, but I'm still a genius. That's still super cool. Can I touch it? Yuri takes out the phone like device and begins tapping away on it. I've heard of toys that allow you to communicate with animals like cats and dogs, but this is new. I have a new one. 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 Is this thing having an identity crisis? It seems to be a speaker and a stuffed toy. I can hear Nena's voice coming clearly from it. I'm getting a little scared. Oh, hey, it actually greeted me. Is this thing alright in the head? That's a problem! This technology of hers is certainly interesting. Oh no. Cease. That's a little hard to do. Boss, can you tell me a little more about this Unisama thing? <laughs> I'm not familiar with any of the inner workings of the thing, but of this thing, but maybe Nina has a mistaken meaning of customer service in her mind. Wow, this thing's actually managing to control Yui of all people. <laughs> Detroit become human! <laughs> well, I can see that then it's pretty cool, though I am a little interested in how she talks as well. But I would like to learn as much as I can, about you as I can. High five, Nene! Yui hits a button on the device, causing Nene to instantly stop talking. Nene, you're such a good cat. You don't deserve to die so soon. Maru de watakushi ga warui koto o shiteiru yo dewa arimasen ka. Shikoto arimasen wa ne. Sono yome nante, watashi o taki shimeta mama, betto de kao kai de koro koro. No, Nene! 
にはなりませんわよ。まあ、ディスターズさん、何でしたひどいですわ。You should have told me that you thought of me like an older brother. No? I would have. I wouldn't have been against that or anything. Stop. ですが、兄弟で恋愛はありませんわよ。Okay, forget I said that. And again, having a young sister who's better at. Than me in every regard, like you, he is, might not help my self esteem. And that definitely, call, de definitely be called a sis gun. Oh, that'd be such a shame, though. How could you do that to poor Nene? She has a heart, too, you know. I could have heard all sorts of other embarrassing stories about her. Maybe now, at this moment, I'll let you know how to do it in the future. I'm so very sorry, please forgive me. Just the thought of her looking through my saved videos and learning all about my fetishes has a shiver running down my spine. Why do you save videos like that on your phone? If I really don't want to say anything, I'll be able to say it. それなりの誠意を見せていただきませんと。Evidence? I... What? えっと、それは、その、さっきの続きをしていただくとか。Earlier? Seeing the faint blush on her cheek, I recall what we just did in the living room. Wait, do you think... Do you mean what I think, I'm... I think you mean? お,おそらく。はじめさんが想像してらっしゃる通りです。Well, what she wants me to do, sure. I'm sure to sure I'm sorry. I'm happily しょ、そりゃ、はじめさんは、先ほどは、ちょっと、心の準備が足りなかっただけで、その、本当はもっとしたかったというと、はしたなく思われるかもしれませんけど、私は,はじめさんとキスのその先も今日してもいいと思ってます。She jumps into my arms and looks up at me through her eyelashes. Fully understand that this must have taken a lot of courage for her to say. You don't have to do it today. Look, your hands are shaking. こ,これは無茶ぶるいというやつですわ。Alright. Very much having footed off of flashbacks, anyways. I won't lie, when you first mentioned that we'd be alone, my mind instantly went to that. But we don't have to rush into it. Nothing good ever had comes from that. I'm sorry, I wasn't trying to cast doubt on your feelings. That's 私たちは恋人です。だからこそ私も、はじめさんには学年なんて関係なく、一人の女性として見ていただきたいんです。She grips up my shirt tightly. That was enough to tell me how serious Yui is about this. I understand where you're coming from, Yui, but don't worry. I already see you as a woman. You always act fairly mature for your age, and you've definitely made my heart skip a beat more than a few times because of that. そ、そうでしたの In the first place, I wouldn't be dating you if I wasn't attracted to you. I love you for who you, who you are, Yui. I don't, have, I don't have a single complaint about you. Now, do you still think I don't see you as a woman? Wait, what? I felt for sure we'd wrap this conversation up. This isn't that characteristic cheeky smile of hers, nor the innocent one I occasionally see from her either. There's only one thing I can I think when I look at that smile on her face. She's just 
beats me every time. I'm excited to see the person she be I'm excited to see the person she becomes in ten years' time, but at the same time I have to keep up with her as well. So you Hi I'm probably not gonna be able to live without you from now on. <laughs> As I stroke her soft cheeks, she closes her eyes and leans her head towards me. All the stuff about being ready and not ready is just an excuse. Love you, eh? So I want to make love to her. Even if she's younger than me, she's still a woman. If we're going to do this, though, I'll need to lead her. Uh, 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 Yeah, that was something I wanted to talk about. Since we're dating and all, you don't need to speak so politely around me all the time anymore. I'm not saying you have to be so unreserved as someone like Aba, for example, but you can be a little more frank and casual. Casual with me. <laughs> okay, that you just okay? I'll try to speak more casually. Yo, what's up, Pomi? How's it hanging, man? Sure fucking blew my mind just a few seconds ago. <laughs> Wanna go for another round, yo? <laughs> so, like, he just looks over at her in pure horror. What the fuck have I done? <laughs> Is it because I'm older? If I wore in her shoes, I'd definitely be inclined to be more respectful around someone half my age. Well, I won't force her if she doesn't want to, and I'm sure she has her reasons. Alright. I'll be waiting that day then. ありがとうございます。is being childish that bad? I think it can be cute. Probably not. It feels weird being called cute as a guy. I can understand that definitely. Hmm? I regret it. I saw I'm gonna die of a heart attack from you being too cute. I'm not worried about that. Now that you'll be able to stop it from ever getting that bad. Because you're a very responsible person. If something like that ever happened, you wouldn't be happy with yourself. <laughs> well, you're my girlfriend, so I want to know everything about you that I can. Well, hopefully we'll be able to continue getting to know each other better. Smiling happily, she rests her head against my chest. I want to create many more memories with her, so I can keep seeing that beautiful smile of hers. For a, a while thereafter, we continue to cuddle and enjoy our time alone. <laughs> we still don't have a CG for this part. This is less than optimal.
はじめさんはお昼何買われましたの Hold on, let me just check real quick. Yep. No CG. However, she does, is one of the people with not as many CGs. Like these. Like these two CGs came in very quick succession, so. I guess we've got a problem here as well. I just use this as the CG. This is always a problem. Well, nothing I can do. I think I'll end it here. Anyways. Hajime san wa o hiru nani kawaremashi ta no? I doubt I'll get a CG within the next 30 minutes. Now,、ah, fuck it. Let's just go for it. I got a ham cutlet sandwich with a BLT. What about you? You and I decided to eat lunch at the campus clock tower's observation deck today, away from the prying eyes of other students. As long as no other student council members come by, our privacy should be guaranteed here. Finding a nice spot to sit down, we begin unwrapping our sandwiches. <sighs> It's been less than two days since I was over at her house. Remembering the sight of her naked body still gets me flustered that I momentarily forget how to speak. So flustered. Y you know, Bui.、Oh, hi. After all that stuff you did the other day, I feel like I've fallen in love with you even more. So I want you to know that if things seem awkward, it's not because I'm nervous about being around you. It's just I can't help but get a little tongue tied when I think about. Well, you know. <sighs> むしろ、私のメリハリのない体でご満足いただけたなら嬉しいですけど。Don't say that, Yui. I couldn't be happier. そこは、照れずに言ってくださった方が素敵ですのに。Say some pretty embarrassing things yourself, you know. 少々照れくささはありますけど、それ以上にはじめさんの照れているお顔が見られますから。She flashes me a wide grin, getting the upper hand again as always. But it gets my blood pumping in a good way and makes me want to make her heart flutter as much as she does mine. Good grief. I'd give, her one, I'd give you a big ol' hug if we weren't at school right now. Fair point. Still, how about we save it till after we finish eating? Yes. I also. はじめさんのぬくもりが恋しくて朝からどうすればはじめさんとくっつけるか考えてましたけど結局お昼までこうしてくっつけるタイミングがありませんでしたから Oh really? Never took you to be the type girl to fret over these sorts of things but I'm happy to know but I'm happy to know that I'm on her mind that much It only tells me how much she loves me and makes her all the more adorable in, many, in my eyes. Because it is pretty hard finding time to spend alone together. With what with people always gawking at us on the way to school. <laughs> Yui smiles leisurely as she bites into her tomato sandwich. Why did I say sandwich like that? Anyways, ever since that night, every single one of our manner her mannerisms seems so much more charming to me than before. So, even though I love simply spending time with her like this, I want to kiss her so badly it hurts. I've definitely gotten a lot more impulsive. Hajime san, today's の放課後は一緒に帰れますか Huh? Today? I still have a lot of student council work to take care of at school, so probably not. Sorry. Thanks, I appreciate the thought. Still, you're welcome to come over and hang out if you'd like. Yamuki would like it, but you'll live. With that settled, you and I continue chatting oddly as we munch on our sandwiches. 
Simply being with her makes me feel so warm and fuzzy inside. It's a wholly different experience from hanging out with my friends. Spend our lunch break together until just bef before the bell rang for class. I said that a What are you two doing here? Also, I don't know why, but currently I have the cookie kagura stuck in my head. Ding, 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 ding. And all that, you know. What's this about? It's a bit enough science seeing this trio of girls together, let alone the student council. うちょんたちも用があるらしくて。こっちは購買の販売リストの更新できたんですよ。いつも通りチェックとチェックしてもらっていいですか？ The Misakiyama student council must be taking a break today if their members have this much time to kill. Sorry, but I gotta take care of the sales list first. Uh, do you mind waiting for, for a little bit? Oh, great. Uh, you arrived just in time. Sorry to spring work on you already, Yamabuki, but can I get you to deal with Uchan here for me? Sounds like they have separate businesses with me, too, so it's a good thing you arrived when you did. I'd like Hakwa to do it if he were here, but it looks like he's running late as well. Hmm.会長にそこまで言われちゃ、私も人肌脱がないわけにはいかないわね。会長さん。今回前の名残というか。what? Seriously? Goods, in other words, various male oriented masturbatory aids. And their names are on this list. There's a possibility that Yamabuki won't recognize them by name alone. But it's still too risky. Uh, on second thought, I'm already halfway through the list, so why don't you take to all with the other instead, Yamabuki? <laughs> At our school, the packages have to be inspected by the dormitory supervisor when they're delivered to the dorm. So horny male students looking to get their rocks off take a big risk when purchasing, purchasing those aforementioned goods online. However, all that can be circumvented by changing the delivery address to the school's canteens. To the school canteens. That's where Uchon comes in. Receiving our packages without risk of discovery. Michimaki Makina is our man on the inside, to spin, so to speak. By the way, uh, what were you planning to do with this list if Yamabuki was the one, only one here? How exactly would I smoke an on a hole? S sorry. What are you it's uh, nothing, don't worry about it. Anyways, everything looks fine, Uchan, you're all set. After taking back her list, Uchan retreats from the student council room at full speed. So she says, but she's still there staring daggers in my direction. The boys would be in real deep shit if anyone discovered their secret dealings, not to mention me as well. I've already I'm already breaking into a cold sweat at the thought. I better change the subject and quick before you and Yomabuki get even more suspicious. Hey Moka! What's that you're reading there? これですか?発症師ですよ。お姉ちゃんの妹ってことでよく見られたりするから、多少流行とか見ておかないと大変なんですよ。Oh, I guess it's not easy being the little sister to school's idol, huh? What, I've never caused you any trouble, have I? 
二宮さんにもきっと才能はあるから諦めないでって過剰に期待されちゃって困るんだよねー She's optimistic, I'll give her that Both Mok and Yui grimace at her words ところで二宮先輩先輩はユイにどういう服着てほしいとかあります Oh, I don't die answer some questions here So outfits I'd like to see her wearing Really, I don't mind what she wears as long as she looks fine in it. I'm trying to think of it, I've only seen Yui in her casual clothes once or twice. So, yes, yes. I've been friends for a long time, and I've never had a chance to meet her before. Yes, yes. But, you know, it's not like you're always in a long time, right? Yeah, we've both got our own responsibilities. What can answer yourself pensively? Do you know what you're wearing in Yamabuki? Do you know what you're wearing? 私私は体のラインが出ないような服が多いわね。かといって、適当なワンピースにすると逆に太って見えちゃったりもするから。ああ、やっぱり胸が大きいと大変なんですね。今のでどうして胸が関係ありますの胸の膨らみでお腹部分まで膨らんで見えちゃうから順当に見えちゃうんだよ。へえ、そうなんですか。Of course you wouldn't know. 私は鎖骨が服に当たるとムズムズして嫌だから本当は胸元が空いてる服がいいんだけど胸元が空いてる服って男の人が見てくるのもあるし胸が大きい人じゃないと似合わないからそれ超わかる胸元空いてる服着られるのって巨乳の特権だよねなのに山吹先輩はそういう服着ないなんて<笑>わがまま言うのはこの父かこの巨乳かタイタニックチェーズ Give me a you give me something like that and then expect to still go with Detroit I'm still going with Detroit. I am over putting Titanic titties in the description. Just, just, ah, over, sir. Hmm, hmm, not to go, so I'm not. The girls begin to get rowdier by the minute, seemingly having forgotten that I'm here as well. But the way this conversation is going, I can feel my eyes being naturally drawn towards their boobs. But if I start ogling them, you'll, you will give me the stink eye for sure. <laughs> 特権だかなんだか知らないけど、そんなの来たら周りの視線とかすごいことになるでしょ特に男子からいやらしい目で見られるのとか嫌だし。I get what Yamabuki is saying, but I doubt any man would be able to resist the second look if they saw her wearing something like that. 男子の視線を独り占めできるなんて、巨乳じゃないとできないのに。私たちはちっぱいだから、チチカーストの底辺だし。ねえ、ユイ。いきなりおかしなカーストに私を巻き込まないでいただけますえぇ、ー、だってうちらの中で一番ち…私たちはまだ成長期。将来性に期待ができますわ。ですわね。そ、そうだよね。私たちは、まだ大きくなれるええ、わかればよろしいですの。If I didn't know any better, I'd almost think she was extremely self-conscious. Well, well, the size of the size is all about all. I know it's a little late to say this now, but I'm not sure this conversation is one I should be listening to. The thought suddenly crosses my mind as I watch Yui and the others absorbing their girls' talk. Still, it is rather interesting hearing about that sort of thing, about the sort of sorts of things girls worry about. The size is too big. It's hard to get a good job. It's hard to get a good job. 浴衣は似合わないし、あんまりいいことないわよ。可愛い,いブラとかつけたいし、着物も着てみたいって思ってるけど、この胸が邪魔で。よし、いいねで買おう。<笑>おばか。山吹先輩は無理でも、私もお姉ちゃんくらいになればな。ですが胸を意識しすぎて、着たい服が着れないというのもおかしな話ですわねでもほらさっきみたいに
、胸がなきゃないで胸元が空いてる服を着るって選択肢は浮かんでこないでしょそれは、そうですけど、やはり自分が似合うと思う服を着こなせるのが理想だと思います。ゆいはいつも胸に悩んでるもんねその口溶接しますわよあざそんでかかわいいさいむしろ胸が大きくて肩こりで悩んでいるのは山吹先輩や結城先輩の方ではありませんかそうお姉ちゃんは大きさよりも形だとか言ってたけどまあ確かに机の上に胸乗っけたら楽だとかそういう風に思うことはあるけど、胸を、乗っけるだとえうん。こんな感じ ?He actually did it! I had no idea that was even possible!Alright, that's enough for all of you!Please, take this conversation somewhere else! Abuki <laughs> finally seems to have realized how inappropriate the discussion was. And not a moment too soon anymore, this would have been、uh, a little too stimulating for my lower half. Doesn't it embarrass you to talk about this stuff in front of a guy, Yui? What? Seriously? <laughs> Maka turns bright red and stares at the ground. A normal, modest reaction for once, though I'm not one to talk after everything I've overheard. So, <laughs> はじめさんとしてはどうお考えですか ?I like him well shaped, size doesn't really matter to me. ビーニューもう兄、中途半端なおっぱいがいいの ?I'm going to power drop you through the fucking window.I said well shaped!Calling them pathetic is a bit rude, don't you think? いいえ、服の話ですわよ。What? But you guys were talking about boobs for like the past couple of minutes! それは脱線した話題であって。元は服の話でしたし。Just some. So just, just, just knock yourself out on the table. Just, you know, get rid of the pain. Yuri stares at me, looking puzzled. I'm not the one that misunderstanding things here, am I? The entire conversation had nothing to do with clothes, though. I mean, maybe at the very beginning. Mm, basically, I think people should just wear whatever they're comfortable with. If I told you I liked something in particular, you'd only try to match my taste, so I don't really want to say anything. S I, s I am. Seeing my girlfriend in casual clothes is pretty important to me, you know? I'd be happy to see you wearing something like I like, but most importantly, I want to see what you normally wear. So, I'm going to go to the next one. じっくり見たいなんて、鬼エル。shut up, I'll stare a hole in your clothes the next time I see him too. え鬼私の服破いて、<笑>手すれつもりさすがにそれ、ボケてるだけだよね。sorry to break this to you, but she was probably being serious. Still, I should change the subject before Albert's dirty jokes start making everyone uncomfortable. What? I think Albert's dirty jokes are not going to be able to do it. What? 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 そしたら、思い出したらまた来なさい。はーい。小塚さんは私は高額のために、はじめさんの仕事を観察しようと思いまして。う、うっ、うっ、うっ、うっ、うっ、うっ、結局、内巻さん以外は、大した話じゃなかったのね。ああ、でもちょうどよかった。青葉さん、外出許可証の不備があったから、今日寮に戻ってきたら私の部屋に来てくれないえい,い,いくら払えばいや密航じゃないんだから来なかったら来週は外出できないからちゃんと来るのよだったら山吹先輩と一緒に帰ろうかなうんそうね私も仕事がなかったら帰ろうと思ってたしそれなら途中まで私も一緒にいいですか
。ええ、もちろん。ゆいは、聞くまでもないよね。ええ、はじめさんと一緒に帰りますから。Feels good knowing that everyone else, that everyone already sees us being together as a natural thing. Sorry for the trouble, Yamabuki. Take care of Alba for me. はいはい。それじゃあ二人とも、またね。With that, the other girls tactfully exit the student council room and leave us to ourselves. They didn't have to go out of their way to be considerate, but、uh, still, I'm glad that Yui and I got some time alone together now. You were lying earlier when you said you wanted to watch me work, weren't you? I was a little bit of 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 a little bit Yeah, you might want to. So they do. Oh no. Apparently, struggling to find the right words, her eyes dart around nervously. What's wrong? I'm sorry. 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 I'm Well, yours are the only one I've ever touched, so I don't have anything to compare them to. But it's not like there's much I could do about it, even if I did say I preferred large breasts. Not that, that is something I'm looking forward to. I guess men really are simple minded in the end. Well, anyways, I've got nothing left to do here, so we might as well go home. Want me to walk you back? Right, let me use the bathroom real quick and then we'll go. From what I've heard today, Yui seems to be a little, less,、uh, a little self conscious about her, about the size of her breasts, although not to the point of having a complex. Honestly, though, if I were to describe them in one word, they'd be magnificent. Not only do they fit perfectly in my hands, duh, but I doubt they, I'd ever grow tired of fondling them either. Crap, now I'm getting hard. I don't want to go back to this, with this noticeable bul bul bulge in my pants, but the more time I spend here, the less time I get to spend with Yui. Quickly rearranging my junk, I head back towards the student council room where she's waiting for me. Oh, huh. Is she a token to herself? 多少大きくなるように頑張らないと。とは言っても、お母様を見る限り、あまり期待はできないのか残念ですわ。My feet become rooted to the spot as I watch Yui lightly groping her own breasts with a rueful expression on her face. I wouldn't mind watching it a, bit, a little longer, but、uh, to be honest, but I shouldn't be spying on her, even if she's my girlfriend. 異性に揉まれると大きくなるというのも眉唾ですし。キャベツもそこまで好きではありませんし。はあ。他に胸が大きくなるような方法なんて。うん。<笑> really、sure、the, the な、な、What? What? It's not my fault! There's probably a CG here in the uncensored version, isn't it? Isn't there? I didn't mean to eavesdrop, but I couldn't just barge in during such a private moment, now could I? Don't worry, you ain't big or small, I'd love your boobs no matter what. Yeah, I guess. How was I supposed to know I'd walk in on you groping yourself? Oh, you want to know this, by the way?、Uh, apparently, excessive stress during puberty can affect your breast growth. Well, I would have if you'd let me get a word in edgewise. Oh, I'm going to go to the house. 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 Well, the most popular way is getting someone to massage them for you. I'm going to go to the house. I'm pretty sure they're all bogus if you ask me. I'm going to go to the house. 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 Oh well! <laughs> There you go, trying to catch me off guard again. 
She smiles playfully, bringing a grin to my lips as well. And on the way to her house afterwards, we had a lengthy talk about why small breasts were full of hopes and dreams. I guess this is going to be the emergency th thumbnail. So yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed this one, and see you next time. Bye-bye.